Kyler Murray was the number one overall pick in the NFL draft, and we're going to talk about it after the bumper. What do you mean you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today we're going to talk about Kyler Murray being the number one overall pick in the NFL draft where I get to say, yes, I was wrong. I still don't know how they're going to make this work underneath the salary cap, but they took Kyler Murray at number one. That'd be the Arizona Cardinals. And he looked fresh in that pink suit and swag on a million. You got to know you getting drafted number one overall to rock that kind of a look out there. And this is what we're getting used to. Not just that Kyler Murray's been on a podium again, last time receiving the Heisman Trophy, but that Oklahoma has a back-to-back -back number one overall draft pick. First time in history it's ever happened with two quarterbacks from the same school Lincoln Riley out there doing recruiting, man. It's going to be, did the car wash today. It's going to be on Good Morning America in the morning talking about the Sooners draft. And we're still waiting on guys like Marquise Brown, Cody Ford, figuring out where they're going to land. Guys like Rodney Anderson. Expect all four eligible offensive linemen for Oklahoma to be drafted this time. Bill Beatonbow, protect him at all costs. As a matter of fact, I put it to an OU fan who's a friend of mine. I said, who would you rather get rid of? Kale Gundy, Dennis Simmons, or Bill Beatonbow, and he said, RJ, why do you hate me? I'm just saying, you got that kind of expertise at your disposal right now, and in the midst of all of this, we find out that Oklahoma is going to play on Sundays, which means that the only real pro team in the state of Oklahoma is going to play its game on Sunday. That is a shot across the bow at the Oklahoma City Thunder. If ever there was one, fight me. And I'm looking forward to that. I know that's going to hem a lot of people up who bought tickets to this game and were expected to be played on a Saturday. And now they got to get rid of those tickets or they got to move it to 630 on a Sunday on September 1. But good move, bold move. I like the move. But Kyler Murray at Arizona, now you got to get <laughs> now you got to get an offensive line to protect him. You got to get somebody out there with aging Larry Fitzgerald and Christian Kirk and figure out how to get him involved with David Johnson. Cliff Kingsbury has his hands full. You got to figure out what you're going to do with Josh, jo Josh Rosen, if anything. I expect him to move that man, but... It's going to come with a dead cap hit of like $14.4 million. So what are you really going to do with all of that? But I, that, I guess, is to be discussed later. For now, going to celebrate Kyler Murray going number one overall as we should. 4,000 yards passing, 1,000 yards rushing, one year of college football to show everybody he is who he says he is. 43-0 as a high school football player, the greatest high school football player, greatest high school quarterback of all time to come out of the state of Texas. We're going to get to see what Kyler Murray looks like on his own because I don't know if you read the Robert Klimko article, but it shed a lot of light on how he's been kind of sheltered and Kevin Murray has had his fingers on the button. Now we're going to get to see what it looks like for Kyler Murray to be out there on his own with your man's Cliff Kingsbury. I also think that it's really interesting that we're talking about Kyler Murray in the way that we are. You know, baseball looked like what he was going to do. Then he had a Heisman Trophy winning season. Then he had to go through all the rigmarole of trying to convince folks that, yes, I am, in fact, here to be a football player. But he is the shortest dude to ever be drafted at number one overall. Give that a thought for just a second. Not just quarterback, just period. Nobody's going at five foot ten and an eighth like he is. It's just not happening. He's changing the game in the way that we all wanted the game changed. We had Pat Mahomes on during the red carpet rundown, talking about the way that he learned to play quarterback. He's going to be on the cover of Madden. Talking about Alvin Kamara, who has changed the game at running back. I mean, honestly, you're going to look at a couple old Miss wide receivers who have an opportunity to change the game. And DK Metcalf is going to try to prove to everybody that he is more than his Tom Brady S shuttle run or cone drill because it was god awful. But you also got a guy like Marquise Hollywood Brown, who's all of five foot eight, buck sixty six, coming back from an injury. He's likely to be a first round draft pick, if nothing else has the same potential to be great as Tyreek Hill and or Antonio Brown. There's lots of intrigue in this draft, but I think that as we continue to talk about Kyler Murray, pay attention to the small details that are going to mean so much more because there's so much information out there on the NFL draft. There's so much information out there on Kyler Murray. Peep your ear to the ground, but for right now, celebrate because you should be. Kyler Murray, number one overall draft pick. That is it for me. Doses.